Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's the moment you've all been waiting for. Thomas Cavanaugh Construction is proud to present Live from the Hunt Camp! Valley Heritage Radio's annual trek to the grand old camps of the Ottawa Valley. Now, let's join the Hunt Camp crew and see where they are today. Hello and welcome to Live from the Hunt Camp on Valley Heritage Radio. It is the last show of the season, sadly, but we're going out in style at the Calabogie Hunters Ball. I'm Andrew Cartwright. And I'm Guy Bassett, and we want to thank the good folks at Kavanaugh Construction for making it possible for us to bring you the most popular radio program in the valley, so they say. And we're honoured to have been invited to the ball by R. Jameson. Let's go inside. You got it. That's right, we are just thrilled to be invited out here and be taking part. Uh, we're hoping that we're, we're going to have a great night with you guys, and we're looking forward to some great tales and some, some great tunes, aren't we, Doc? Absolutely. And Art, uh, you in, invited us here. Uh, tell us a little bit about the ball, the history of the Hunter's Ball, and then we can get some of the stories from some notable personalities you've invited along. Well, I'll tell you, Di, uh, we certainly weren't the band that started it. It was going prior to 1960. Our band came in in 1960. I believe it was a local boy, Harry. Ferguson, Al Utrunky, and uh, the country gentleman that actually started uh, the ball many years ago. But we come along in 1960 and we played right through for 43 years for continuously. And uh, we loved every minute of it. We have seen a lot of things happen in the halls over in 43 years. We started in the, how many in Calabogie remember the old White Hall, the community hall out in Main Street there? That was the granddaddy of them all, and I see pe uh, people, I see half of Ashdad is here tonight down along the wall here. And uh, we started there, then we moved to the Catholic school. Remember the auditorium in the Catholic school? We were there for a couple of years, and one year we went up to Calabogie Peaks. Uh, we had it, the Murphys invited us up. And then, of course, uh, we were back to this hall. I think it was built around the year 2000, thereabouts. So uh, it went until 2003. Then it quit for 10 years, and we got thinking. Marie and a few of them around said, maybe we could try another one. And whoever shows up to help with the music, that's it, because every penny that's taken in tonight goes to the back end of the community, the Calabogie Lions Hall there. So great, great people. So we've had a lot of fun, Andrew, over the years. I, I can imagine you've got some stories. Do you want to just maybe introduce who's going to be performing music tonight, Art? Well, uh, first of all, Cruise Control. Well, he's here somewhere. Where's Al? There he is. And his lovely daughter. He always brings his daughter along to play with him there. And, of course, Mike Cloutier is in the background and certainly no stranger to any uh, to any uh, stage. And we have Jerry Lettaw. You people say Latang. It's Jerry Lettaw here in Red. I remember that, Jerry. And of course, we have Dennis with us as well. Dennis Harrington, uh, of course, with the radio station on Sundays. And uh, his love, great uh, young fellow there, Riley, is here as well. And uh, it's a real father and son team that's helping. And I'm not sure who all uh, is down. Have I missed anybody? Uh, Daryl Morty is over in the background. Yes, indeed. Denzel Ferguson. Well, I'll tell you, there's an intelligent conversation going on over in that corner. You get Mooney and Ferguson there. There, my God. <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you for coming out, folks. Uh, I know that uh, this is very typical of the Hunter's Ball. It's about 10 o'clock before the Hunters really start to pour in, and then God knows what's going to happen after that. But uh, we've had a lot of fun over the years, raised a lot of money for the community center here. And uh, by the way that you people have turned out, I think the response is just as great from the radio station as the public out here tonight. Yay! Wonderful job. Art, uh, we're going to have you uh, tell us a little bit about how things are going at the Octagon Club in just a moment. But firstly, I would just like to say that we have three police officers here. I don't know if they follow Denzel Ferguson in or if he followed them. I'm not sure, but they're, uh, you're just making sure that the, the hunters have a good time and have a safe night. And it's so good to see them here, isn't it? It sure is. And no, no, you, honestly. <laughs> I'll tell you, if they, didn't, uh, if they didn't follow Denzel in, they'll t follow him out, I'll tell you. <laughs> Uh, you told me earlier on today that uh, you actually got a deer out of the Octagon Hunt Camp. Is that, is that your favourite or your least favourite club, the Octagon Hunt Camp, folks? <laughs> oh. 
Well, we certainly have a great club, as all of the clubs uh, across uh, Ontario. You know, they start. We know people that come in from Temiskaming, uh, uh, hunting in the Pontiac as well. And there's uh, Nipissing, Hastings, Lennox, Addington, Frontenac, Lanark, Carlton, all of them's all the way around. And great hunt camps. And you guys get out and see them a lot more. I understand you had a great time up at Brennan's. Oh, did you? Did you go? Did you go to Nicaba? <laughs> well, that's where dot comes from, Nicaba. Uh, we might have gone through it, but we blinked. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, missed it. Anyway, Andrew, uh, this is a new experience for you, the Hunter's Ball. You weren't born when this thing started. No, <laughs> no. I think uh, this is a new experience for me, like you were saying. And uh, uh, for somebody who maybe hasn't been to a Hunter's Ball, what what are we in for tonight? Well, it's just uh, they get up and dance, and uh, you never know what's going to come through. Sometimes they used to. It was almost like Halloween. Who could out do, uh, do the other with uh, their uh, their garb more or less what the some of the stuff they would wear crazy hats that sort of thing but th this was 10 years ago I have no idea what's going to happen or who comes through the door here tonight Denzel uh, you've been to many of them now I know you would remember getting here how did you remember going home from any of them a uh, couple art I just like to welcome everybody of course here and uh, thank you obviously for putting this together it's fabulous, the music is going to be great. I'd just like to say how successful, again, the uh, Hunt Camp Live has been. And Mr. Corbin, if you heard his the other morning, he was saying how bad a shot we were over at Spruce Hedge. But we are members of the Save the Lead Club over there, so we only shoot when all four feet are in the air. So that kind of was understandable, because he also mentioned the fact that he had won within 10 feet of him. So we don't go up with that. We would, if we were that close to one, we shoot away and made damn sure there was four feet in the air before we shot. So it's understandable we may miss the odd one, but we do save lead. So <laughs> thank you again, Eric. It's a pleasure to putting the music together. Super. You're doing a fabulous job. Thank you very, very much for everyone. Thank you, Danny. Ronnie LeClaire is here somewhere. Ronnie, come on out here. Ronnie, do you remember square dancing here? Uh, yes. This is a real nice party here, and I wish everybody well, and a good hunt, and a safe hunt. Thank you. And Ronnie, you're up at your place uh, up on the uh, Madawaska, uh, on the farms. Uh, you still have hunters groups coming in up there. Do you have some in this year as well? Yes, we have two groups of 12 uh, 12, uh, 12 apiece, uh, one's across the lake at a hunt camp and on the old farm, and they have nine deer at the farm this so far today with 12 people. Wow. So it's wow. good. good well, that's great hunting yeah. up there. Nine, nine, nine. And a day to go yet, too. That's right. Exactly. <laughs> well, thank you. Daryl Mooney, where are you? Daryl, come on over and say hello to these good people. Uh, the countrymen, of course, have played uh, all over the Ottawa Valley, and here they are, uh, you know, Daryl's out here helping support this as well, and he... Tell us any experience you've had at the Calabogie Hunters Ball. The experiences I had at the Calabogie Hunters Ball have all been fantastic. They're always a great place to be, in, and they love country music. That's and good. they love fiddle music, and they just love companionship and friendship. It's just a fantastic place to be. The, the lady sitting down there in the blue sweater, Ann Stabinski. Yes. Always one of the first people at the door to welcome you to Calabogie. And sometimes she's there to throw you out, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's done that to the countryman once or twice. <laughs> but I, I got another guy I want to bring up here, Arthur. Do you know, do you know him? I don't yeah, know. Oh, he did a great job in Renfrew there. He was the postmaster. Oh, Mr. White. Mr. White. Yeah. Mr. Kevin White, come on up here. Oh, Where are you? Kevin. There he is, right there. Good day, Art. How are you? Well, it's just that you were talking about those... those uh, folks out there in blue there and uh, I just had to tell you a little story here when we were on our way up because we were coming up here and of course Mooney was poking along and I said Daryl I said we better get going I said because you're going to be late for this shindig you're going to and he says don't worry about it he says so we just come past Auto Valley Oxygen up by the old Pepsi plant there yeah. and he had that old van wound up pretty good there and I said you better be careful Daryl and all of a sudden then there was them lights come on then eh? they were blinking all over the place I thought it was Christmas time in Anacostia so he said he pulls over to the side and of course the officer very pleasant come up there and, and said to him says uh, where do you happen to be going to sir well Daryl said he says I'm going <laughs> up to Calabo he said and yeah he said Art's waiting on us and well that was a strike one <laughs> so uh, anyways uh, the officer said well you're going a little bit too fast you know, for what's out here. So you're going a little bit too fast. Daryl says, I don't think so. He says, my partner right beside me here just looked at the sign back there, and he told me, he said, it just said 132. <laughs> and the officer said, 132, that's Highway 132. And Daryl says, holy lantern. He said, I'm glad you stopped us before we got to the 401. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, thank you, Kevin. What a great bunch of guys we got on board here tonight. And uh, again, I want to thank not only the great group, there must be a dozen or so from the station here going out into the community as they are. Thank you, people, for coming as well. Okay, we are going to take a quick break for a word from our sponsors, Thomas Cavanaugh Construction. Hey! And when we get back, we will let you hear the sights and sounds of the 2013 Calabogie Hunter's Ball. Hey! You are listening to Live from the Hunt Camp on Valley Heritage Radio. Hey! It's hunting season in the Valley, and Thomas Cavanaugh Construction would like to remind you to be a responsible hunter and to remember these important safety tips. Always wear your hunter orange. Be aware of your surroundings. Don't hunt alone. Be sure of your target and practice gun safety. These tips will help ensure that hunting remains a safe activity for all concerned. A message from the folks at Thomas Cavanaugh Construction. Have a great hunt.
and Chubby Dernan as well. This might get you a job with the countrymen if you do good. Oh my goodness. Very frosty blue water lives an old German's daughter on the banks of the old Here a lot of men left her, but I can't forget her. We hope that you've enjoyed the 2013 season of Live from the Hunt Camp here on Valley Heritage Radio. We want to thank Art for the invitation today. What a way to wrap up the season. We also want to thank each and every one of you for coming out and paying homage to our little, our little soiree. And we want to thank you again for listening. By the way, the cast and crew of Live from the Hunt Camp are wearing some great mossy oak jackets from Columbia Sportswear that have been supplied to us by Afelski Shoes in beautiful downtown Killowin. And of course, the program wouldn't be possible without the generous support of Thomas Kavanagh Construction. So until next year, from the entire Valley Heritage Radio, Live from the Hunt Camp gang, see ya! Thanks for listening to Live from the Hunt Camp, brought to you by Thomas Cavanaugh Construction. Be sure to keep that radio tuned to 98.7 FM and join us again next time. From the whole Valley Heritage Radio Hunt Camp crew, have yourself a great day.